going to be making the Solar Speeder 2.0. It's available in the Maker Shed at www.makershed.com. So let's get started and check out the kit. Okay, like my previous videos, I'm not going to show you every single step that's involved in making the kit. I'm going to fast forward through a lot of the steps, but I'll highlight some of the important things. So let's get started. Looks like step one is to add the axle. Okay, then the next step is to take this capacitor and bend it at a 90 degree angle. Next is the diode. Okay, now it's time to install the transistor. Okay, now let's install the second capacitor. Okay, the next part is to mount the wheel. First you have to take this little piece of wire that's included in the kit and strip the outside casing off of it. Alright, next is the motor mount. Okay, now we're going to mount and solder the motor. Next, let's add the front wheels. Now the last thing you have to do is attach the solar cell. The kit comes with a red and a black wire. You just have to strip the ends. I would tin them, attach them to the solar cell, and then attach them to the car, and we're pretty much good to go. So let's do that. Now all that's left to do is some double-sided tape. So let's give that a try. Okay, so I'm all done with the solar speeder kit from the Maker Shed, and let's charge it up and see how it goes. It, it hasn't been charged yet, so uh, it might take a minute or two. I'll let you know. I'm going to fast forward the video because you don't want to sit here and just watch it charge. I've got a 75 watt lamp hooked up to my bench here. Let's turn it on and see how long it takes. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So that took about, well, about 45 seconds to charge. It went all the way across my bench and I caught it before it ran off the floor. Uh, I'll do a few more tests and let you know how it goes. But it runs really fast. It was a fun kit to build. And uh, there's actually a couple other versions that I'd like to check out. 